Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to replace the GRE on your uh, your Java runtime environment on your um, well, Lunar client. Um, this is mostly, it, it can solve some of the issues that can happen with the, um, Java runtime uh, errors, etc. and other Java errors. So what you're going to do first is you're going to go to the link in the description www.azul.com slash downloads and you're going to choose uh, you're going to scroll down so you're going to scroll down here and you'll have all your downloads so you're going to choose java 16 choose your operating system whichever one it is my i have windows then choose this uh, choose java packet uh, package as jre fx and choose the uh, architecture you don't I mean there's only one version for Windows but I mean if you want you can choose it whatever um, now just you should be making sure if you're on Windows you can go to Windows settings your settings app system about and here you can see it's a 64-bit operating system x64 based processor x64 and x86 uh, programs are compatible with each other so that's fine, but uh, if you have an ARM processor, if if you just have a normal PC with an Intel processor, you don't. But for example, you have an M1 Mac, for example, um, Lunar might normally not work. So I, I'm not going to be talking about that here. If you have an M1 Mac, it just don't, don't listen to this. Anyway, so if you come here, then you download this .zip file. So you wait for it to download. Uh, and... Then you open this, okay, and then you have this folder inside the zip. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Lunar Client, go to About, then go to this log folders, open in File Explorer, and then you can close Lunar Client. So now that you're here, you're gonna go, you're gonna go to the ribbon, you're gonna go to the top address bar, you're gonna click on Lunar Client. Then you're gonna go to GRE, and then then you're gonna delete this folder in the Lunar Client directory, and you're gonna drag this onto your Lunar Client folder, and you're gonna copy it over. So you're just gonna wait for it to copy it over. Just give it a second. And now it's copied over. Um, you can close it, whatnot, and it should work now. If it doesn't, I mean, there's probably some other problem, but it, it, a lot of the times it can be an issue with the GRE having corrupted files and whatnot. So anyways, thank you for watching.